hanging out at Porky and Beans, getting ready to hit the grill. Dennis is going to show me the ropes. I hope I don't screw things up too bad. No, you're, I, I think that you're ready. I really do. The master says I'm ready. Let's get after it. we got to get the blood pressure down. <laughs> okay? I had a couple beers to try and relax me before we got going, so I'm ready. You're starting to look a little hypertension. I'm excited. I know I'm excited. you are. I, mean, I love grilling. This is a dream come true. I'm ready to roll. You, you would think this would be your wedding night or something. Probably yeah. be better than that. Okay. All right. Just kidding, honey. I love you. Oh, my goodness. All right. Lead the way, Dennis. Okay. Let's do it. I'm bringing some ribs up. Now we got our sauce. We got our. Okay. This is where the rubber meets the road. The sauce meets the rib. The taste becomes great. This is it. What kind of wood do you use? Anything special? No. Not, not as far as this goes because you're using for the flavor. Right. And right now you're using hickory, so it really doesn't matter. And every once in a while, you know, Craig from Carolina, they bring us over some onions. We throw those in there too, you know. Guys, you know, I came over, I had to see why, why are you throwing those onions in there? I said, because it brought you over. <laughs> so do you start bone side down? You start bone side just like you have it. Now this is what's called caramelizing. Okay. Now that's... This and this would make a beautiful judging group. So, look at that. Uh, that is pure goodness right there. Okay, now we sauce the tops of everything. Okay. And then we let them cook. How's that looking? Oh, hey. Okay, remember, you gotta, you gotta dab them. We're not painting the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> That's it. That's the sauce. That's it. You're putting that sauce on there. Let's do that one. We're going to let them sit a little bit. Sauce gets in between the, the meat and all. Oh, it sits there. <laughs> so how many times do you dab? I mean, That's how many good. times do you put sauce on? Five times. Five times. Yes. And it's called cut. You want to build, 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 build. Now, a lot of people don't sauce their bags. You got to sauce the bags. Well, they say it's wasting. And I say, well, what happens is there, there's really a reason why you do that. Because you have a membrane back there, and the sauce, as it's caramelizing, actually uh, kind of crystallizes that membrane, and it just comes out. It's just soft, beautiful Extra flavor. You can't not. You can't. You can't just leave it. That's exactly, and it, and it uh, helps to hold the texture of the meat a little bit too. So when you bite into it, you know you're just not losing the bone and everything else. Awesome. So how long do we leave it on doing the caramel? Well, let's here? see. Uh, another minute. Another minute. You, another minute. Another minute. Okay, now we're going to flip the ribs. All right. Now, you see the way it's kind of getting a little drier up on top? Uh-huh. That's so okay. Now, you got a little brown on the back. Uh, oh, beautiful. You got the best job ever. Dennis. Beautiful. Okay, now, let's sauce them up. Sauce them up. Dab, 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 dab. Yep. Nope, oh, get some sauce. Oh, gotta get yeah. three sauce every time. There you go. There you go. Okay, next. One needs to complement the other. 28 years we've been doing this. We're going in our 29th year. And what we had found out is that you just don't take a bunch of ingredients, salt, pepper, paprika, whatever you're going to do, and season the rib. Because what you have to think about, what did you just put in your sauce? Yeah. So now that's where the seasonings have to complement each other. If you over season, it's, you're just throwing it away. It, because they actually cancel out and they don't taste like anything. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't help you. It's a science. Oh, <laughs> it's a food science. We, we actually made a sauce for Willie Nelson. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called Old Whiskey River Bourbon Did it Barbecue have weed in Sauce. It? <laughs> no, we smoked that inside. <laughs> Old Whiskey River Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. And it was great. 
had uh, we, we had gone to Tone Products where our uh, sauces are, are uh, done, and they have a test kitchen. And it was kind of like being in the witch's room, where you have all these shelves and all these little bottles that you take two little pearls of this and put it in, two little pearls of that. It changes color, it changes flavor. Uh, it was, it's been a long time since I've been in a, in a test kitchen. Uh, I mean, ever since our sauces were developed, which is about three years ago, we changed. And, uh, so, you know, every once in a while we tweak and do this and do that. So it's fun. It's fun. And when you can get into a test kitchen like that, oh God, I was in my glory. It is. You're live on the radio, you're live on the radio, Dennis. I don't want to interrupt. Please no, continue. No, right ahead. No, we're just talking about how, how you season. Now, ribs need to be seasoned, but the same seasoning doesn't go into your sauce. One cancels out the other one. So you have to have a balance between your flavoring of your meat and the flavoring of your sauce. So it really comes down to food science, and it really is. I mean, there's test kitchens that we go into, and we can sit there in, in a couple hours and develop. We, we develop um, Willie Nelson's Old Whiskey River Bourbon Barbecue Sauce one day. In fact, it was about two and a half hours to done. It was fun. There are hundreds of people in their cubicle at work right now, and their mouths just started to water. It is instant sensation. Now, uh, initially, you said, Jer, how's he doing on the painting of the sauce? You know what? He, look at that. Oh my God! I mean, if you could, if you had <laughs> s smell radio and see radio, oh my God! Then you call it TV, but that's okay. Now look at that. I mean, it's beautiful. I look at the color. Now it's starting to caramelize, and he's going to uh, put another layer of sauce on. That's the second. We have three more to go. And if we're building and building. We are not even halfway there. Not Torky even halfway. Beans, uh, America's best ribs. And you can uh, enjoy these. These aren't just for show. I mean, we're actually going to serve these after Jared's done making them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to have a little look at this. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Dennis is getting a little too excited. We're going to take the mic away from him. Uh, Jared, Amanda, Pike is here as well. And we want to see you, too, uh, enjoying these ribs. We're at Hot Springs Paws Rib Fest 2010. Play some commercials. We'll be back and uh, talk to Jared and uh, see what everyone thinks of the finished product. It's on the way with today's Froggy 99.9. Don't you drop that rib. I'll still eat it. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay. okay. So, give him a knife. And you want to cut some rib. Oh my lord, that's a big knife. That is a big knife. So, uh, okay. Now, there's two ways you can do this okay. to make it easy for yourself. If you want to, you can stand it up and go right straight down the rib. One. Whoa! It, it won't get away from me, honey. Okay. <laughs> they love me. Now for the novice, this is the easiest way to do it. We're ready to go. Now. I need some napkins for you. Now we're gonna have some go back to the station. Is that what we're doing? No. No. We're all here. We're here all night. Okay. Now you can feed your your crew. Final thoughts, Jared. This is an amazing experience. I learned from the master. I can't wait to take my skills home to my grill and perfect what I learned here today. Thanks, Dennis. Oh, you're quite welcome. Now look at the side of your rib. You see the gray, but you see the top of it? That's what's called a smoke ring. It has not penetrated through the, the meat for the simple reason the last hour and a half is when we applied our smoke and the pores of the meat then are closed and it doesn't penetrate and doesn't make you a pink rib. Awesome. Enjoy. We will. Thank you.